Hey guys, what's going on? This is Bryn Vermeyer. I am the director of the Association of Functional Diagnostic Nutrition Practitioners, course mentor and clinical advisor. Here today for a special presentation, we have the one and only Mr. Reed Davis, the founder of FDN. Reed, how are you doing today? Fantastic, Brendan. Thank you so much. <laughs> awesome. So guys, special presentation. So it's all about health coaching success, everything you would need to know before you sign up for a health coaching course. Obviously today there are tons of health coaching courses out there. I feel like there's new ones popping up every day and ultimately you have to decide what do you wanna do and then what education is gonna be the best fit for your professional needs. And so today we're gonna to educate you all about what FDN is, it's a Q and A. We're gonna be asking Reed some different questions on what is FDN, how do we do what we do? So we have a lot of questions that we'll be fielding. Feel free to type in questions live into the chat box over here. I'll send you guys a message. I'll be fielding the questions for Reed, but I know that Reed wants to uh, give a quick little presentation here to kick us off. So Reed, I'll hand it over to you to get started. Well, thanks so much, Brendan. And uh, folks who don't know it, uh, Brendan is an FDN graduate who then applied for a job at the company and was doing various tasks for us and is now the director of our association of FDN professionals, the AFDNP. Now that is a um, not just an advocate group for what we do. Um, a lot of people there promoting FDN, of course, but it's a place once you graduate to hang out and it was developed out of popular demand. You know, um, what I've done with the FDN course for the last 10 years is interview every single person who ever graduated. So, you know, we've signed on 3,000 people. We have, we have over 1,000 graduates, you know, hundreds and hundreds of really good practitioners. And I asked them what they want. What do you want? How can I make the course better? Every single person has been asked that. And, of course, when there's – good ideas we implement it so after 10 years we just last month came out with the latest iteration of the fdn course and i have to say it is fantastic it's it's the best that i even hoped for you know it's so it's an amazing new course um it's it was great before probably top of the line and it's even better now so what we're going to do because a lot of you have been getting information from us and maybe even watching some lesson previews and things like that and we want to do a q a to get your questions answered we're getting an awful lot of inquiries a lot of new people signing up uh, to become members of our community which is an amazing and fantastic and brendan is going to be uh, kind of scouring the attendee board looking for uh people if, if you are a uh, current trainee or grad and want to say a couple of words uh we'd love to have you come on and give us a a one minute testimonial or something like that. In the meantime, I just wanted to go over the way I feel about this because when I started, the word health coach didn't exist. We were either nutritionists or personal trainers or massage therapists or yoga instructors or you know what you just might call allied health professionals, not necessarily licensed practitioners. Although I, I did start FDN in a chiropractic office, I'm not a physician. And so the way I feel about it now is that we're all health coaches, regardless of what part of the industry you're in, whatever modality or therapy or uh, is your thing, you know, your study, your certificate. And I have close to 15 certificates on my wall, or actually they might be in a closet somewhere now, <laughs> you know, because I moved. But you know what I mean, Brandon, and I see you laughing because, um, <laughs> you know, we, we all are like certificate hunters up to a point where you just have to start producing, you know, it's like, well, you know, if I don't know enough by now, and yet people come to us all the time, they, they, they have questions, they have problems. So this is for you, if you have a strong desire to help others, are willing to walk the talk and willing to learn and invest in yourself and your business. If you already know everything, then you probably are just doing this out of curiosity. <laughs> it wouldn't really get much out of it probably. Now, if you also want the ability to identify healing opportunities to help your, your people, to help people, your clients get better, you're in the right place. And also a step-by-step -step process that would take you and your business to the next level. I think you're in the right place. 
It's going to be if anything to do with helping others. If you're a do-gooder like us, everyone else in the community, you're at the right place. And I want to assure you of something. You don't have to be a physician. Matter of fact, most of the true health building, health care, if you will, is going to switch to health coaches. It's not good. People aren't going to go to their doctor unless they got a bone sticking out of the arm bleeding or, you know, some some medical condition. And so what I want to assure you of is that general principles of health building is not only a great thing to learn and know and do for people to use, the, but it actually outperforms the people who are doing specific treatments. That, that's something you can write down and take to the bank. So I want to ask you guys a question and people can uh, type in why you came. Uh, Brendan, again, is going to kind of any, any questions, any hand raising, any, anything you want to put in there. Um, we'd like to know why you're here. But I'm just sort of assuming that it's probably because you have a problem that needs solving or you have a high level of interest in functional diagnostic nutrition. It is gaining notoriety over, you know, been teaching it 10 years, doing it for 20. And so it's not, you know, don't want it to be a secret, do we? <laughs> so if you're here to solve a problem or have an interest, I want to go over the most common problems I see in the health space. And most practitioners asking me for help are simply not getting good enough results with their clients who are caught in a cycle of trial and error. Now, we can go into that. So your clients are caught in a cycle of trial and error, and you're not getting good enough results with them. That's number one problem that I get asked to help with. The other thing, of course, is that when clients are not completely satisfied with their progress, if they're not reaching their goals working with you, then you're never going to reach your goal of building a thriving referral-based practice. So, you know, that's the way to build a practice. There's, there's no better way to build a practice than that. And so health coaches, I think, are caught in their own cycle of trial and error. You know, p uh, clients are caught up in it, and so are we. We're always seeking information on a specific condition that we know little about, Anyone ever work with someone with this problem or that problem? I mean, how many times do you see that on Facebook? Kind of drives me nuts. People are desperately searching for anecdotal solutions, you know, sort of casually offered solutions that work for one person, but they have no method of determining if it worked for their client and can only hope it helps. Maybe, maybe someone will give me a tip. That's being caught in a cycle of trial and error, trying this tip and trying that tip. And I think that pretty much sucks. And here's the facts. What works for one person may not work for another and could make a third person worse. That's a remarkable thing after 20 years of all the things I might say I'm certain of. That's a big one. So when you're on Facebook going, has anyone ever worked with someone with X, Y, Z? You, you know, I almost hope no one answers because it's probably not going to work for your client. It might even make them worse. Uh, that perpetuates the cycle of trial and error and leads to few, if any, referrals. Remember, I want you to be successful. I know you want to help people, and you deserve to, to be successful. So needless to say, being caught in any cycle of trauma is pretty intolerable. Now, Brendan, anytime you want to jump in, if you, if you got somebody with the hand up, you got anything, please go ahead. I just got one more slide I want to share. Um, it only makes sense, one or two, out of these 3,000 slides I have on my desktop. You know? because uh, we do a lot of teaching. Now, it only makes sense. If a client tries your program, it doesn't give fantastic results, they'll soon move on to the next practitioner. That's the problem that a lot of you have. And, uh, you know, they'll hope or pray they get better results at maybe the next person. In fact, the client's biggest complaint today, our, you know, that's a huge body of public that needs us. They, they need us. Their biggest complaint is what? They're caught in the cycle of trial and error. They're going from one diet and exercise program to the next, one supplement program to the next, or one therapy, one modality to the next in hopes that someday someone will finally figure out what's really wrong with them and help them fix it. And you want to be that person. I know you do. And that's kind of our goal. So. Um, you know, when clients move on, you'll you'll be caught up in another cycle of trial and error, and that's this one. Uh, always having to market, market, market your services to try to get new ones because you're not keeping the ones you have. That leads to exhaustion and frustration trying to keep up with the latest marketing, blogging, emailing, campaigning, promotions, uh, vlogging, and 
you might as well be flogging too, you know, because uh, that's what's going on out there. So that's three cycles of trial and error. One is your clients are in a cycle of trial and error, not getting better. You're in a cycle of trial and error, um, hoping someone has something anecdotal to, to when you run up against a problem you don't know anything about. Because remember, you want to help everybody, right? At least you try to. And then there's the third cycle of trial, which is which marketing, F, you know, technology, what am I going to do? And man, there's at least, uh, you know, 50 courses on that out there and everything from in confusion soft to to you know facebook to god knows what all the things you have to kind of uh, master unless you're building a referral based practice which is the only way to go after 20 years that's another thing i can guarantee you so i want you to relax it might not be your fault but as long as you have a sincere desire to help people you certainly deserve to make a good living at it and I've been feeling for over 10 years now that that's my job is to help you make a good living at it. And maybe it's just that you don't have the right training or tools needed to stop the cycle of trial and error for your clients and build the practice of your dreams. Now, um, do we have anything yet, Brandon? Yeah, we have a lot of people kind of chiming in here. And then we have Jill Ward with us, who's a uh, recent graduate that we can bring on any time to hear her testimonial well come on let's hear it i want to hear yeah. jill all right Jill's. okay let me bring her on look like you're with us jill I, I see her microphone is unmuted and she should be able to just pipe in jill yes ah there she is hello there see me we can yep. sure hear you. And then if you want to turn on your camera too, if you want to be that brave and hang out with us uh, on camera, that's always fun too. Okay, I can totally do that. Cool. <laughs> Let me get all technical here for a second. Okay, there I am, perfect. Awesome. Yeah, fantastic, good to see you. Thank you, good to be on the call. Perfect, well, thanks for joining us. Yeah, absolutely, very good. So Jill, tell us a little bit about um, what you were doing. Let, let's start off, like what were you doing before FDN? Let's let's start there, nice and simple. Okay, so I was already a health coach. I was a graduate uh, uh, from the Institute for Integrative Nutrition back mm -hmm. in 2012. And I um, basically run a health coaching company called Organically Jill and uh, I do wellness boot camps with uh, with my clients a couple of times a month. So that's what I was doing prior to coming okay. on board with you all. Absolutely. So then what, uh, what got you interested with kind of taking it to that next level with FDN? What attracted you to our community? You know, I just, the cycle of trial and error that Reed was just talking about, I felt yeah. like I'd lost a little bit of confidence in my ability to coach my clients. Um, you know, I have a lot of specific health issues and I felt like the general advice that I was giving people, it wasn't working for so many people and it was robbing me of confidence and mm -hmm. I just wasn't able to be as effective as I wanted to be. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, Jill, I think I can relate to that a lot. I, you know, my background is a nutrition coach and personal trainer. And, uh, you know, I think there's something very confident driving about having objective data with the lab testing. So that way it's not just the, you know, generic recommendation. Anybody can tell you to get seven to nine hours sleep. Anybody can tell you to eat real food. But then what? Like, what if that's not enough, right? Is that kind of on oh. point? I didn't feel like I had uh, what I needed in my toolbox, essentially. Mm -hmm. I felt like I had a lot of general recommendations and that just concerned me. And mm -hmm. so I came across uh, working with a uh, functional medicine physician. Mm -hmm. I came across your program and I began creeping on people on Instagram that were graduates. <laughs> I mean, that's what we always do, right? We go to social yeah. media and creep. And yep. I found that so many of your graduates were super knowledgeable. They were putting out fantastic, I'm stealing Reed's word there, um, fantastic uh, 
hello, what's the word I'm looking for? Content on social yeah. media. And I was drawn to that because I, I'm a problem solver. And I wanted to take my coaching practice to the next level. And I feel like you guys have given me that toolbox and I did yeah. not have it prior. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about, you know, since you already had a health coaching practice ahead of time, what was it like making that transition of then implementing, you know, what you learned in the FDN program? How's that okay. been going? Well, actually, I'm not a graduate yet. Oh, in training. Okay, I'm in training, but um, so I haven't fully made this transition yet. I'm sorry, cool. um, but I, I anticipate it will be nothing but success um, mm -hmm. because there's there are just so many people that want to get to the root cause of their problems, and I feel like that is exactly what you all are training people to do. Mm -hmm. So I anticipate nothing but success. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure you will. When I went through that transition, because I had my personal training clients, my nutrition coaching clients, honestly, uh, I'll tell you guys how that went of seamless, absolutely seamless. It was like, hey, guys, we can now take your program more in depth. The beautiful thing is we had already kind of laid that groundwork, right? We're already, you know, working on diet and exercise and sleep and lifestyle. But now we have that extra layer of let's take it more in depth. Let's do some testing. Uh, to use that objective data to further refine and course correct that program. It's a lab guided process. So very cool. Okay. Awesome. Jill, thank you so much uh, for the kind words and uh, just to have another person with a common cause with is exciting and, and why we do this. You know, it certainly is why I started the course uh, over 10 years ago. We, we just actually had our 10 year, anniversary date it was june or pardon me july like 14 that weekend 10 years ago and um now for everyone listening uh we're, we're having actually a, a 10 year anniversary conference celebration and uh all kinds of things going on. and it's because they're making me do it <laughs> no I, I want to really i'm just shy you know and you know like uh you know, it's kind of like, um, kind of really ex exciting. <laughs> so um, thanks a million. Thanks a million for, for jumping on, Jill. And by the way, I know other people appreciate it too, like Brandy. She said, oh boy, I love Practitioner Spotlight. And we and Brandy, you could jump on, you know, if you got something to say and you, you know, we have pretty good audio and Brendan's kind of a master of, of go to webinar here. I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but I can see a few questions popping up. But thanks again, really appreciate you. And I look forward to your post-grad interview. Now we'll have seen your, your smiley face. Excellent, can't wait. Looking sure. forward to it. Thank you guys. Yeah. Thanks, Joel. Been good, thank you. Um, I noticed one, one person I wanna say hi to on here, okay, because uh, Dr. Hamilton joined, he said he's a chiropractor, wants to add high value service to my clients. Well, Dr. Hamilton and everybody else, I started FDN in a chiropractic office. 20 years ago, I was hired, I was the health director, right on the screen, it just happens to be the right slide. Um, I was the health director and case manager because I was a really good businessman and uh, I loved health. You know, I had moved from environmental law, being an environmental paralegal, you know, basically saving the planet studying the environment and helping birds and bees and trees and air and water and stuff like that, saving the planet. Now that's a pretty good purpose to have. But I, around 20 years ago, I started turning my attention to what is the environment doing to people? And I got a job, I was hired by a chiropractor to run her wellness center in Southern California, really busy place. I was made the health director, which really general manager. And then case manager because the doctor there was going through her diplomat program in nutrition and said, I could tag along as her assistant. And I went to all the, I mean, it just opened up a new world for, world for me. First of all, like all of you, like all of you, I'm a learn freak, love to learn, love to read. I mean, I spend two, three hours at a time on Wikipedia. You know, how, how much of a nerd do you have to be to get off on that, you know? And, and other other resources, of course. Brendan's smiling. He knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. So so I'm a nerd. So I, I just love that course that she was taking. And she let me come back to the clinic 
and actually work with her patients, which was just the most amazing opportunity that I, to this day, thank her for. And God, you learn a lot. You know, you're you're applying what you learn on a face-to-face -face basis. And Doc, what I'm trying to say is, I fell in love with the clinical side. So I no longer, I kind of dropped a lot of my dreams of establishing some huge corporate wellness conglomerate. Uh, I call it corporate wellness technology incorporate. You know, I was going <clears> to <throat> be in every corporation as their wellness. You know, I dropped that. Why? Because I just learned, to, I fell in love with the clinical side. And the thing that freaked me out the most was that when people, when I talked to them, Again, I'm a case manager now. There's we had chiropractic, we had acupuncture, we had a podiatrist, we had massage, we had nutrition and things. And so, um, what freaked me was that everyone walking in the door had a complaint that they'd already seen five people for, and it just made no sense to me. Now you probably like heard that before. A lot of you have heard that. Before. I hadn't heard it at the time. It, you know, it was like, well, well, why? I don't understand. Why didn't you just get fixed by the last guy? or Cal, you know, whoever it was. And uh, they're like, well, you know, so I started, I determined at that point, well, you know what? I'm going to be the last person you need to see for that. And I didn't even care what their problem was. I just knew through through my chiropractic experience and, and listening to the innate, you know, what all about the innate intelligence of the body and that kind of thing, that there was a cause for whatever was wrong with them. And I was going to be a health detective and I was going to figure it out. Now, 20 years, I was pretty naive. There, the lab work that we have at our fingertips, it didn't even exist back then. There was like saliva testing and some stool testing from uh, people who were considered quacks at the time, you know. But I knew I was onto something and I ran over 10,000 tests on men, women, and children. That actually would be more tests. But I, I worked on over 10,000 people mostly women, but they brought me their husbands and kids, you know, and I made my own observations over a 10 year period, working my butt off, who got better, who didn't. Now you, you pick up a few things, believe me. And it's no surprise to any of you that close, those working closest to the underlying cause actually restored some health, returned to quote unquote normal function, if you will. But here's what's not so intuitive. And here's what what really is the, I think the crux of it, it's that people with the exact same complaints had completely different causes. And sometimes that, that cause, that causal effect was really far away. It wasn't what you think. Someone with diarrhea doesn't mean they have parasites. Someone with, uh, you know, name another complaint. It's not as close. The underlying cause is sometimes really complex and far away and I'd, li I'd, li I'd like to actually go over a couple of slides that would help help illustrate that but anyway so over that 10 year period I because I'm again I'm you know going back to my business background and um, education and stuff I'm a good organizer and I I was able to systematize the investigation and then I was able to systematize the protocols that people have to sort of go through and that's how I developed FDN and the dress for health success programs and then 10 years ago, someone said, why don't you teach other practitioners? <laughs> and the rest is kind of history. You know, I started with 20 students and we have 3,000 now because because it kind of, you know, people like it. So, you know, you, if I was, you know, wanted to be known for something a long time from now, it would be that, you know, I really did experientially like an originator of finding that needs gap figuring out what fills it and ending the cycle of trial and error for thousands of people. And through my, my, uh, my army, if you will, my team, my deputies, uh, my, my wonderful, amazing graduates, uh, uh, it's tens of thousands of people and it could change the planet. You know, that, that'd be kind of an ultimate dream thing. What do you think about that, Brendan? You're all over that, aren't you? I I'm all for it. That's why I'm here. This is awesome stuff. So um, if someone else uh, wants to raise their hand, you know, then we could read their, their question. You can you can do that. I'm just going to do a couple more slides like this is what the public's facing. And this is a partial list. Unprecedented levels of health problems. It's amazing. Um, U.S. I mean, look, I love the U.S. I'm a big fan, even though I'm not I'm, I'm actually from another country. Um, big U.S. fan, but it's got some of the worst health problems. I mean, you know, the, the health of 
we're not like even in the top 20 countries in terms of health, you know. And so it's all these problems and many, many, many more that people come to us. But um, what do they have in common? The clients who have them are caught in that cycle of trial and error, and we can help. So, again, I want you to stop me because I tend to go on and on. And, again, I have <laughs> slides to last until next Thursday. So I'm just going to chip into a few of them here. And this is so, – so people have these problems, unprecedented levels of health problems, and they go to their physician who's there to help. Physicians save lives. We like our physicians. We're not talking bad about physicians. They certainly have a great place uh, in the world. Um, but they don't meet all the needs. That's kind of the issue. And a lot of people, raise your hand. By the way, why don't we do this? Everyone just hit the raise the hand button if you're not, you know, if it's handy. And tell us if you've ever been to a doctor and were told your blood work looks normal. Or um, if you have a client that was told their blood work looks normal. But they know something's wrong. You know something's wrong. Something's missing. You might not be able to put your finger on it. But, you know, you're, you're kind of caught in that cycle of trauma. I, I went to my doctor. He says everything's normal, he or she. Um, you, you, it could be you that you're working on. It could be your clients. And you got to do both. Uh, forward to obsess back. Or you, you say, your clients say they've tried everything, but they aren't where they want to be yet. So we've all kind of heard that. I'm not really counting but i think it's good to get involved and raise your hand if that if that rings a bell with you so this is to me what the cycle of trial and error looks like people go to a doctor and get told you're normal or they get offered something like drugs that they don't want to take so either, either the doctor says well you're not you're not a candidate yet i went for i haven't been for a, one of those annuals for two years um and i only went because i don't know i got some new insurance and Someone said I should go. <laughs> um, you know, he said, you're fine. You don't need any medication. That was his, that was it. You know, I was 63 at the time. I hadn't been a doctor in 10 years. And I went through this whole complete checkup thing. Uh, and he said, you're fine. You don't need any medication. That was after two visits. You know, they do the blood work. They do other stuff he put me on, you know, hook, hooking me up and the different things. You're fine. You don't need any medication. Oh, wow. What a. What a way to look at the world. I mean, I could have told them a few things I'd like to work on. You know what I'm saying? So so anyway, so people get turned away or don't want the drugs. They know something's wrong. So they go and try the latest diet, exercise, supplement, supplement, exercise, diet, therapy, diet, supplement. They spend a ton of money. And by the way, people are making a ton of money. And obviously not. that is not filling the needs gap. So we can and we also know, I'm just going to skip this one because we know diet and exercise are not enough. Um, Brendan, you were a personal trainer, dietitian. Um, we have so many that uh, personal trainers and nutritionists, and they're, they're all, their clients, too, are stuck in that um, cycle of trial and error. So in order to fill this needs gap, you know, people are coming off that latest thing. Remember what I, where I started was naively saying, I'm going to be the last person you need to see. And it. It took me 10 years, and quite honestly, I'm still figuring some things out. But, you know, I know for certain that you have to stop chasing the symptoms. You can even give up on the root cause. Don't worry too much about that. I'll explain more. But you, what we really want to do is sort out metabolic inefficiencies, what I call metabolic chaos. Identify the healing opportunities, coach up function, coach down hidden stressors. And you're going to get happy clients who refer you clients. In other words, both needs are met. Your your need for to you know their need is met because you've filled the needs gap, got them off the cycle of trial and error, and your needs are met because they're filling your practice with referrals, or should be if you're asking for them, right? So anything uh, you want to bring up? Let's do a question or have another guest. Yeah, if anybody wants to uh, come on live to ask a live question, by all means, raise your hand. We can bring you on. Um, we do have a lot of submitted questions that we can start tackling here. So, you know, one of the first ones I saw from the audience today was actually somebody asking, 
um, how many of FDN graduates actually end up practicing FDN full time versus it's kind of a side hobby? Yeah, let me answer that because I know you have a good answer, but I want to tell you that is really a great question. And when I do those post grad interviews, you know, it's people who've graduated. So I'm not talking a lot to non graduates because they haven't got to me yet. You know, we have an amazing program with mentorship and running labs and the training platform is state of the art. And they get all this, again, mentorship and, and interaction and they're running labs on themselves and they're, they're doing all this stuff. But, but by the time they get to me, they've actually jumped through the final hoop and, and here we are. And I'm going to, I'm going to say, how can I make the course better? And what are you going to do with yourself now? And that question comes up. Can I really make a living at this? And what I say is, look, you, you have a choice. You can do FDN as a hobby or you can do FDN as a profession. Here's the main difference. Hobbies cost you money. And I know because I have a few. Professions make you money. So it's fine with me if someone just wants to do this as a hobby it doesn't it doesn't really suit, suit my purpose which is to help as many people on the planet as possible by creating a you know uh, an army of FTNs um, but if that's as far as you want to take it you know eventually it's going to rub off on someone else and, and and people come around but hobbies cost you money I don't recommend that if you want to do it it's okay that what I mean by that is you'll spend money on labs you'll spend money on supplements or modalities or joining the gym or buying equipment like having the floor behind me you know and and things like that i've done all that stuff too um uh but but perfect you know fdn's designed to be a profession that's up to you you know that's completely up to you and absolutely your question was how many i would say half or better you know because we don't restrict people to, who coming in like i was asked once by a school that wanted to add some of my curriculum to their curriculum and they they play this they play this game of exclusivity like well we only teach this and we only teach these people and those people i go you know what why would i exclude a mother of four kids who just wants to help her family why would i exclude her well we exclude them because they're not something some criteria artificial constraints is what i call them so i have accepted a lot of people who want to do it more or less as a hobby work on themselves and work on their children and spouses and and whatever even their neighbors huh? but you know that's not what i designed it for so the reason that i say better than half do it professionally and you might say well that's not a high percentage um, it's because I accept people because I feel bad turning them away. Why would I turn away a mom who wants to fix her children who are otherwise going to be left to drugs or whatever, you know? So that's my answer. I think that was a perfect answer. And, you know, really to something that I've been saying lately, I don't think our society can afford to be that exclusive. I mean, with just the health crisis and the epidemic of lifestyle induced disease that we're facing, I don't think we have that luxury anymore of being overly exclusive on, you know, what and I like the way you said that artificial constraints. That was a perfect answer. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, Let's I mean, see. So this is a fun question that I'll be interested to see what your answer is. So uh, the question, Alice says, what are your thoughts on someone who's not already a health coach starting their journey with the FDN program versus starting with a more nutritional based program? You want to go, or you want me to go? I'll, I'll take a I'll take a stab, and then I'll let you follow it up. Um, so, having started my career when I was nineteen, uh, I started with a personal training certification and a, uh, uh, a a pretty popular nutrition coaching certification. And I'm a big nerd like Reed, so I am kind of the guy that will spend hours on Wiki and. So I had done a number of nutritional courses before FDN. Now, with FDN, we give you guys a year to get through the program. Obviously, you can buy an extension if you need more than a year. To put it in perspective, I went through the course in two months. Now, that's pretty fast. And my my mentor, who's one, one of our course mentors, clinical advisors, 
she likes to say I was the best student she ever had. So I'm going to give myself that little prop there. Now, <laughs> hey, don't, don't break your wrist there. Don't break your wrist patting yourself on the back, man. I know. Pretty, pretty hard pat there. Uh, shout out to Whitney there. But uh, so I went through the course fast, but I had already been studying it. I had a lot of nutritional experience, other certification programs under my belt. Now, I'll say no matter what your background is, if you're not already some kind of functional practitioner, it's going to be a heck of a learning curve. So I don't know. On the one hand, I would say, well, this is going to be the best education you get. I think, you know, if you're not very savvy on nutritional science, um, you know, maybe you, you want to add to your skills. But I see no reason, like, why not just go for the top and already set yourself apart? Because otherwise you're starting, not that I'm talking, you know, bad about anybody, but you're kind of starting down here and, you know, and then you want to work your way up. Whereas if you start with FDN, you're already going to be ahead of the game. You're offering a service that very few professionals have those resources and skills, and you can always fill in the gaps in your knowledge as you go. So that's kind of my thought on it. Yeah, it's good. That's a good answer. And I would just add that, we have had people, many, 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 who move from what they are doing that they might be making pretty good money at, engineers, real estate agents, uh, all kinds of folks doing, doing something that they're not in love with. It doesn't give them a uh, purpose in life. It doesn't make them want to get out of bed except that they need the paycheck. You know, so they can move. You can move sideways. Remember, I came to this with zero background in physiology, biochemistry, and none. You know, I studied, you know, uh, the environment and environmental law. Prior to that, I was in the art business. You know, and I had a. I was used to restoring and I was a craftsman and an artist, and and you know, I worked in construction and I did a lot of things. Um, you know, I really did fall in love with environment. I like saving the planet. Saving the planet was a mission, you know, and then I just just transferred. The passion just went into, again, I, as I said originally, you know, falling in love with working with people, the clinical side, you know, uh, and and if you so, you know, I know what it's like to not be that passionate and be working. And then find something that you can be passionate about and move in. And so you will fill in the gaps. There ain't a lot because I, I again, I started with no back. So I think I'm teaching you everything that I had to learn. And it's um, it's a lot. It's a robust course. Uh, there is physiology, anatomy, and biochemistry in it. But it's, I teach, you know, you can listen to the way I talk. You know, you know I'm not pulling big fancy words out of my butt, you know. It, asking you to swallow them i'm telling you in the straightest plainest english everything you need to know or at least what i know that helps people awesome so yeah you can move sideways from a different thing don't don't worry about that mm -hmm. um let me go back to this for a sec clients remember the, the purpose of this is that you know if, if you're a health coach you have a problem and it's that your clients aren't getting better enough um and then you're uh, you know, searching for what's going to make them better. So searching for new clients because they're going to leave you and go somewhere else. So those are the cycles of trial and error we face. Th this is what clients want to know. And I, this is a survey I did 10 years ago, and we've redone it a couple of times. And it's got, we keep coming up with the same three questions. Patients want to, or clients want to look you in the eye or at your stuff and believe that you can say yes to these three questions. You know what's really wrong with me? Can you help me? And if you helped others like me, you know, they are tired of going to people who just treat symptoms and also, or just treat the paper, which is something we get into. And they've tried a lot of different things and they don't want to waste their time and money anymore. And they're almost desperate. They're in that cycle of trial and error. So you, you got to learn how to say, yes, I know what's really wrong with you. Yes, I can help you. And yes, we, we've helped thousands of people just like you. And you can say that if you're an FTN. So let me go back real quickly to those unresolved health problems. Here they are. And this is a partial list. Like I said. So what else? Remember, we said people who have these things are caught in cycle trial and error. What else do these chronic conditions have in common? 
They're the result of hidden stressors and dysfunction, what I've termed metabolic chaos, which is metabolic inefficiencies, you know, strategic intelligence and things like that. Um, and we can resolve it. So real quickly here, what is metabolic chaos? It's a state that exists because of hidden complexities in one's metabolism. It's infinitely complex and underappreciated influences from the environment, which we've studied so thoroughly. And that makes correlation between the symptoms and the cause unpredictable. And yet that's what everyone does. When you walk into a, an office of certain types of practitioners, and you complain of certain things, they're going to they're gonna say, oh, that sounds like X, Y, Z. And then they're going to test you for X, Y, Z and pat themselves on the back and say, I found your problem. And you're not going to get better. <laughs> the reason is they're just treating the paper. So metabolic chaos is a state that exists because of hidden complexities in one's metabolism versus underappreciated influence from the environment. And a clue to metabolic chaos is when the intervention, based on that cluster of symptoms and even abnormal test results, objective markers, produces only a marginal therapeutic response. Just what I said. You, you, people go, oh, I, it sounds like thyroid. They test you for thyroid. Yep. Break my arm, patting myself on the back. It's your thyroid. I found your problem. It's your thyroid. And then you do the thyroid treatment and you only get a tiny bit better and you still have most of your problem. You know, and so that's what that that tells you it's metabolic chaos. And contributors to metabolic chaos are the cause. Metabolic chaos is the effect for a while. Then metabolic chaos itself becomes the single most significant health condition. So, um, but in any time, but I'm just going to go a little bit further here and say that let's take that thyroid person. Well, we know that that's part of the endocrine system and that endocrine dysfunction occurs when there's metabolic chaos. And you can have thyroid dysfunction and thyroid symptoms. So the other way of looking at this is that endocrine dysfunction, those are your hormone producing glands, Endocrine dysfunction contributes to metabolic. It's the result of and contributes to metabolic chaos. And so uh, because of weak links in metabolism, in the center there, weak links in metabolism, um, guess what happens? It cascades. You end up with nerve cell issues, neural tissue health, nerve cells, and a different set of circumstances, a different set of uh, symptoms if you want and you can chase those and do absolutely no good you can even run a test on so you can run a thyroid test other uh, check for different things um, and if you only treat the paper the person's not going to get better why because there are weak links in metabolism you don't know where that problem is really coming from in one person those same weak links with, with these different Contributors to metabolic chaos may result in carb metabolism issues and glucose homeostasis problems. That means blood sugar going up and down for no apparent reason. In other words, they eat perfectly. They say, yeah, but I eat I eat protein. I eat right, good quality fats. I eat just clean carbohydrates only, you know, like vegetables and things like that. You know, I eat perfectly. Brandon, you ever had a client that said, I eat perfectly, and yet their blood sugar is up and down and their energy is up and down and their, the uh, tab, you know, all the time yep. if they eat well we said diet and exercise you know aren't enough well because of weak links in metabolism they end up with other problems and after years and years people come to us with all these chronic you know i call them stress related conditions resulting in metabolic chaos and that's their real problem so you know we could end up with these kind of things now let's just take one more quick example though let's take someone who eats like crap you know, they almost on purpose are giving their bodies carb metabolism issues. Well, that creates chaos in, in the body. Uh, and I've changed weak links to vital voids. I, I really believe, and I could say I know, I know for certain that every cell in your body has an intelligence within it. There's an innate intelligence. You, do you have to teach your cells what their job is? 
do you have to tell your heart when you wake up, hey, start beating? You know, or <laughs> please don't stop beating while I'm asleep here, you know, and things like, no, we have vitality, we have intelligence, and it just, it's automatic, and cells know what their job is. But there are voids in metabolism, there, there are weak links, as I said, so with these vital voids, you get a cascade, and you end up with problems. Now, this person, it turns out that they've got immune regulation problems. A, a cosinoid modulation really means inflammation problems you know when and it's out of control and they don't know what started it and they don't know how to fix it and on and on and on they could show up in your office though or you know answering your online marketing uh, methods whatever you use and by the way we do really appreciate the internet and being able to work distance coaching so anyway so they end up with a say now maybe their thyroid dysfunction and the thyroid symptoms are what finally brings them in the office so here we start off with thyroid. That's what brought them in. Here we're ending up with thyroid, and that's what brought them in. But it isn't their problem. It isn't the original problem. And that's why I said it's very intuitive. We intuitively know that working on the underlying cause is helpful. But what's not so intuitive is that that underlying cause could be actually undiscoverable. You may never figure out what the real underlying cause is. Um, and guess what? It's okay. Um, let's summarize here, and then we'll go back to the board and see what people want to talk about, Brendan. The metabolic chaos cascade. Hidden stress and imbalances, if not soon resolved, cascade into other areas. Metabolic chaos ensues, develops. That's the real problem. Uh, but depending on one's individual weak links in metabolism, you get various types of dysfunction and further metabolic individuality would dictate different disease and different symptoms. And that could be coming by the way, from the exact same hidden stressors and imbalances. So hidden stressors and imbalances are cascading, creating chaos disease, you know, which is labeling um, like diagnoses and stuff and symptoms are the last thing to appear. Here we have a, a image of different tributaries, different uh, types of stressors, if you will, pouring into the body, cascading down all the organs and cells and tissues and systems and things, resulting in symptoms above. Now, that's how the problem appears or shows up, but it really is just as simple as that, in my experience. R agree with that, Brendan? Absolutely, yeah. Now, um, I'm not sure if people are, uh, everybody seems to be hanging in here and thank you, thank you for being here, everybody, to everybody. Um, um, I want to go through a couple more slides. Uh, I sort of want to have you know, therefore, that we have one diagnosis. Then. We, I'm not a licensed practitioner. I can't diagnose or treat anything specific anyway. What I learned 20 years ago is that I don't want to. And I had a really smart physician mentor. He was a DO, really brilliant guy, no longer in business, but um, brilliant guy. He said, Reed, you're actually lucky you're not a doctor. I said, well, why? He goes, well, you, you can't diagnose or treat. Therefore, you're going to have to figure out what's really wrong with people. And he's like, okay, well, thanks for that cross to bear, you know, which I've been carrying 20 years now. But that's the cross that it was handed to me. Read, be, be glad you're not a doctor. You're actually going to be able to help people by figuring out what's really wrong with them. That is not diagnosing and treating anything specifically. So I have one diagnosis. It's metabolic chaos. Symptoms don't matter. And as I just explained to you, the root cause, quote, unquote, may never be known. But it's okay. It could be undetectable. There's no one test on, it isn't like, you know, Star Trek where you wave that little noisy thing around their body. Remember Dr. McCoy would go, you know, and, oh, he's got gallbladder issues or something. And there's no such thing. So the root cause would be very undetectable, very far removed from one, what one predicts or even measures with test results. But that doesn't matter. We can have a positive effect upon it when we know what steps to take. How are we doing here? I know we're taking a long time and I'm taking my time and I'm just trying to be relaxed and 
and help people here, Brendan. Um, are we okay? Yeah, you're doing great. Honestly, you're answering a lot of the questions that were submitted um, kind of indirectly, so it's great. Okay, man. So what I said was you can have a positive effect upon it, whatever their root cause is, uh, when you know what steps to take. And there's only three steps to resolving metabolic chaos. Assess the underlying conditions and contribute to metabolic chaos. Assess. Paul Check, some of you might have heard of him. He's a good buddy of mine. Just saw him last week. He lives 20 minutes away from me in Southern California. He says, assess, assess, assess. It's like his whole his whole philosophy is assessment. Well, we do it um, with very good comprehensive onboarding, obviously history taking forms to fill out and carefully chosen lab work. And I run five labs on every person because there's no one lab. There is no one lab. There's no little gizmo from Star Trek. Um, then, so that's step one is an assessment. Actually, that's it. That's the easy part. Assessing is run the labs, take the history, talk to the person, do some clinical correlation, and you pretty much have your impression of what to do. Now you customize the dress rails of his program. You do need to know what these protocols, what's involved in these protocols, the diet, the rest, the exercise, the stress reduction, the supplementation. All of that's in the course. I mean, it, it, the, the, the FDN course not includes all of the lab training, biochemistry, physiology, anatomy, and stuff, so you understand the labs through and through. What, what does saliva, urine, blood, and stool tell you about a person, including their history? And, and again, always correlated to the individual who took the test. You never treat test results. Then you can customize a program for that person, individualized holistic lifestyle and behavior protocols. Believe it or not, folks, that's actually the easy part. You know, assessing, customizing the program. <laughs> where you, where we need health coaches is in running the program. You know, that's what health coaches do. They run the program. So what I've been saying to you all along is that, look, you guys are good health coaches. You guys are running programs. I just think you might need some help in designing the program. Doing a, a deeper investigation and an assessment, doing a more thorough understanding of complete holistic. You can't just, you know, have them exercise. You can't just have meat right. And you can't just have them do any one thing. You know, they really need a holistic, complete behavior protocol. So, so running a program is where health coaches come in. And a good buddy of ours, he's actually speaking at our conference. Dr. Russell Jaffe, who owns a lab and owns a supplement company, brilliant guy, goes around the country talking to doctors. You know, he, he works mostly with the licensed crowd, but he, he's a friend of ours. And he told me this country, just the U.S., needs 250,000 health coaches. Now, I've only trained 3,000, so I have 247,000 <laughs> to go before we have absolutely conquered the health problems of this country. And so, Brendan, you know, you're you're the young Turk and you and all the other young folks, I'm gonna have to pass it on to you someday. But until then, I'm gonna continue to do what I'm doing, recruiting new deputies and teaching them what needs fixing and how to fix it. If, if you wanted, if your elevator speeds, um, it couldn't be much more simple. People say, what's your elevator speech? I go, I don't need, I only need half a floor. I don't need three floors to give my elevator speech. It's like, by the time the door shuts on the elevator, I could tell them, we figure out when he's fixing and help fix it. Now what? <laughs> you know, like, what well, I could tell you. So step one, again, is these functional assessments, identify malfunctions and healing opportunities. Write that down, healing opportunities within the hormone immune digestion, detoxification, energy production, nervous systems. There's other things you can assess and do, but those are the critical ones in all my years experience matter the most, functionally speaking, and with the kind of problems that we're able to help people with. You know, we, and, and then, so that's stand, H-I-D-D-E-N, hormone immune digestion and so on, stands for hidden, it spells hidden, internal stressors and dysfunctions which highly correlate with most common chronic health complaints all the ones i showed you on that list 
We also use intake forms where we give people points. I'm just going to skip over this, Brendan, for uh, because I know people want me to get. By the way, please hang out, folks. I'm going to. I'm going to uh, make you an offer you can't refuse if you'll stay on with me. I'm going to torture you for a little while longer before we get there, and have fun doing it. So we have these intake forms too that we use. Here's kind of an, uh, the the um, the tabulation part of it. This is something that I developed with William Wolcott, who's a good buddy of ours. He's he's our um, metabolic typing guru and originator and one of the smartest guys I know. So he, he helped develop this intake form where we look at the endocrine. This where here where you see it say endocrine, neurotitial, musculoskeletal, carbide. Those are the circles on that chart that I showed you. The circles chart where we looked at all the dysfunction and metabolic chaos. Well, these are the little categories. And we have you spend 20 minutes, just 20 minutes filling out the form and it tabulates your points. Now, again, back to the points, here's some of the 223 points. The goal is zero. And what I want to show you here is that, remember, this person came in with main complaint is like thyroid type symptoms. In other words, they're fatigued, they have the blues, their temperature uh, is low, they've got cold or even numbing extremities, they've got constipation. They got weight they can't get rid of no matter what they do. They've got a classic cluster of symptoms that sounds like thyroid. A lot of practitioners would even test their thyroid and then, oh, I found your problem is low thyroid. Well, we know it's not. We know that most people who go on thyroid medication, don't, their health is not improved. They may lose a few symptoms because you've artificially replaced some of their thyroid and even boosted the organs to some extent, even natural methods can support the thyroid gland but you're not fixing anything and guess what we see over here look at all the other points they've got neuro tissue health issues 40 more points and look at detox capacity more points in that area so you see how vital voids in metabolism or weak links in metabolism can end up with oh it's i think it's your thyroid yep pat myself in the back i found your problem it's your thyroid so they they went on symptoms they even backed it up with a lab test and are still wrong about what's really going on. And that's why uh, standard medicine doesn't work for most people unless, again, you know, it, it can help. You know, if you've got a bone sticking out of the arm bleeding, don't call your nutritionist. <laughs> Go get a medical doctor and so on and so on. Many other problems they, they are best suited for. So this establishes a record for us. I'm not going to go through all the labs. It takes too long. You know, I, I could show you the labs on another, if you want, just say, hey, please do another webinar, show us the labs that you guys go over, and I'll do it. But suffice it for right now, in a summary here, our job is not to diagnose or treat anything specifically. We're not licensed to, and as that doctor told me 20 years ago, be glad you can't do that. You're going to have to figure out what's really wrong with people. And me being, you know, systematic and organizing boil it down to this we identify healing opportunities with the lab work and apply wellness principles that's the dress program now again the elevator door ain't even shut yet you know and we've already told people what we do we identify what's wrong and show you how to fix it we identify healing opportunities and help you apply wellness principles same thing two different ways of saying it so the symptoms and even the lab values. Now you know that lab, labs by themselves aren't saying much. It's how you interpret them and, you know, obviously which labs and things. But symptoms and lab values are not the problem. They're the result of the problem, which is the chronic stress-related dysfunctions. Identified here through just our few simple labs. A little saliva, blood, urine, and stool. Um, can identify hypothalamus, pituitary, adrenal axis, and adrenal dysfunction, cortisol dysregulation, circadian rhythm problems, hormone dynamics and imbalances, poor nutrient breakdown and absorption, prooxidant versus anti, and so on. You can read the slide. Dysbiosis, bacteria, biofilm, inflammation, immunodif. It's metabolic chaos. We we don't want. We're not physicians. We're not going to like. Oh, here's your diagnosis, and here's your pills. Here's your treatment. Or here's your therapy, your modality, or any of that stuff. We're going to say, 
It's metabolic chaos. We need now need a system that will treat every cell tissue and organ at once. And that is step two. So we've identified these dysfunctions, these healing opportunities. Now we're going to apply the wellness principles. We're going to get you, client, if you want to end the cycle of trial and error. And remember, I promised 20 years ago I was to figure out how I could be the last person that someone needs to see. And this is what I came across after all those years. D-R-E-S-S. And it's real simple. Anything, and you could just hold up your hand and show people D-R-E-S-S. If you were a true FDN, you'd have it uh, tattooed on your hand. <laughs> just kidding, Brandon. So, so you know, you you anything that isn't diet related, anything that isn't rest and sleep related, or exercise related, or related to supplements, goes under stress reduction. Name something. Name something. You got a disease that's medical. You live underneath uh, radio towers. You live next to a factory, or you live in LA and are breathing fumes like unbelievable. You eat um, non organic food with pesticides, herbicides, rodenticides, and fungicides, and whatever. You know, you, it's, you uh, hate your boss. Um, your kids are <laughs> rotten kids, or whatever it is. Eating these a diet, rest, exercise, and supplements goes under stress reduction, right? And so that's the Just for Health Success program. It's a process so effective, it's trademarked. We were awarded a trademark by the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office because it's a unique program. It works because of these principles. We don't diagnose and treat anything specifically. We treat everything non-specifically. We make observations about this chaos and remove as many contributors as possible, unmasking the basic systems that are actually failing. No, that could take some time. You, you got to work with the person. We nurture these functions, restore normal metabolism, and support weak links so clients invariably improve. This, again, take this to the bank because, uh, you know, hundreds and hundreds of FDN practitioners are. This, this is the truth. Healing occurs when the process is focused on identifying and removing contributors to metabolic chaos and supporting function to corrective behavior and natural therapies. I will bank my entire livelihood, life, and reputation on it. And real quickly, dress is diet. I'm not going to go through all the details. It's rest, it's exercise, it's stress reduction, and it's supplementation. If you're not an expert in any of those things, don't worry. The FDN course has robust modules on each one. Each module has various lessons. Each lesson has various videos and documentation and support, things like that. There's almost 200 documents that we give you as part of the FDN course. So not only am I going to teach you the investigation, which labs, all the saliva, urine, blood, and stool tests, you'll thoroughly understand what you're testing. You'll, you'll understand this stuff. And then you'll thoroughly understand. If you're not an expert in diet, don't worry. I'll teach you what you need to know. Same thing with sleep, which I've studied very thoroughly. I actually like to sleep a lot, and it benefits me and everyone else. Exercise, I'm a certified personal trainer and plenty of good stuff there, but you might you might already have that covered. Stress reduction is our biggest area. We identify, eliminate mental, physical, and biochemical stressors, especially the hidden ones, ID by the labs. And supplementation, I don't have my own brand. I've left that money on the table, and people tell me I could be making a lot more money doing it, and I've just – not interested. Not interested in being in the supplement business. I know other people who are probably much better at it than I would be. And I know a few things about supplements. So now for the good part, which is where you, the health coach, comes in. Learn step one and step two. That's almost the easy part. That way you become back of the hand knowledge. Exactly how to assess, identify the healing opportunities, and design the protocols going to fix it. Step three is where we work with the client. It's kind of where you earn your kick. You might charge them a boatload of money for step one and two, and you end up almost giving away the run the program part. But the good news is that, that knowing how to do one and two or, or what, what's going to separate you from every other program that you could run. And it's why I, I would almost guarantee you, you will quintuple, 
quintuple your current income. And if you're not doing it, I'll show you how, because I've done it and helped hundreds of practitioners to do it. So I know I'm answering more questions, um, but running the program is a matter of communication. One thing I, I know for certain, if you want to fail, fail to communicate. So we, we become very good communicators, knowing exactly what we're telling people, exactly why we're saying it. And we're very certain about what we're saying. So all you have to do is communicate, come out of your shell, you know, learn. And by the way, I, I've written all the scripts, all the emails to communicate everything you kind of need to practice. So you don't have to invent anything. You just have to duplicate it. And remind your remind your clients that there's no power boating to health. If you and I'm done, I'm almost done. So um, if you get someone that says, "I'm going to crush this program. I'm so excited. <coughs> I'm really gung ho." Um, tell them, look, you're going to come up against things in your, your your own weak links, your own vital voids, and this is going to take a little time to get healthy especially with what they're coming to us with things like fibromyalgia and irritable bowel and Crohn's and, and got all these awful things with their skin and, and their, their obesity and their diabetes and their, you know, all this stuff. But, you know, so you got to tell them there's no power boating to health. We're going to zigzag a little bit. We're going to read the waves and we're going to read the wind and we're going to, you know, uh, keep you on course. We're going to keep you on course improving along the way until guess what you sail it yourself there's the, the, the final step is that they are now empowered you teach man to fish so summary it's vital reserve which is the intelligence in your cells tissues organs and systems in the whole organism there is a vital reserve a strategic reserve a metabolic reserve and innate intelligence whatever you want to call it versus metabolic chaos and the crap on the planet that contributes to it. Our job as coaches is to coach up that intelligence with the DRESS program. While we coach down the chaos, the contributors chaos, any known stressors, any hidden stressors, any and all contributors. And that's how you stop the cycle in there. So um, anybody want to raise a hand and ask me a question? Or is any other FDNs on the line that want to give us a testimonial or is there something else you want to just say here brandon before i close uh i've been kind of fielding all these individual questions on the side some different things such as you know curiosity about the lab so we did have a few people ask us to uh maybe do a part two where we go over some of the labs and stuff or uh you know parts of the course that teach about like coaching concepts so i've been fielding those but you know, as Reed said before, guys, it is a kind of all-in-one program where we really do teach you everything you need to know um, to be an FDN practitioner, absolutely. Yeah, these are very robust modules in each of these things. There's five modules covering the labs. There's five modules covering the protocols. And then there's bonus modules on how to onboard clients who are most likely to be successful and deal with them, uh, all this sort of case management stuff. There's case there's case studies. Let me close it out. And then if there's time and people want to, uh, you know, I'll stay on and I'll, I'll show you the labs if you want to. But I'm going to close so that people can go. Um, these are the emancipating period. When I say emancipating, I say they set you free. Don't worry about what a person's problem is. And you never heard of PCOS before or whatever other god awful thing they've been diagnosed with. Don't worry about that. The root cause of it may never be known, and it's okay. It could be undetectable, as I explained and showed you and proved to you. It could be really far removed from what you predicted, and that doesn't matter. You can still have a positive effect upon it when you know what steps to take. That's the investigation, designing the protocol, and following the protocol. Those are the three steps. Take this to the bank. General principles of the health building outperform specific treatments. That's what my... Uh, uh, DO, you know, that, that osteopath 20 years ago was trying to tell me. He said, good thing you're not a doctor, Reed. You're actually going to have to figure out what's wrong with people and learn how to fix it, teach them how to fix it. And what he knew, he didn't say it. He, he let me sort of struggle for a long time, but we started having all these great successes. He goes, that's because your principles of health building are outperforming 
the specific treatments those people have been going after. And so that's that's just the truth. So now you can say yes to those three questions that people ask. Remember, they're going to ask you, you know, do you know what's wrong with me? And can you fix it? And have you fixed other people? Yeah, you're going to be able to say yeah to all three things. You can come back and, and read the slide. We can send out the slide. One quick caution, other experts run tests. Yes, they do, and I've covered this a little bit. Many health pictures that can order lab tests now, and there's no one lab. Trust me on that. There's no little device on Star Trek, and there's no computer that can read your blood work and tell you everything or your urine or anything else you put in there. Um, it, that doesn't exist. So what a lot of people are doing is they're uh, running one lab based on symptoms, maybe two, and then they're treating the test results. And they're at, sometimes they call me and ask me, what lab should I run? Well, I go, well, out of our labs, in, and based on Metabot Chaos, which of the labs we run, wouldn't you run? Why, you kind of like really want to run them all because you don't know where the original problem is. You want the most insight you can get. So they're not ending the cycle. You know what they're doing when they, when they treat test results? They're just creating another cycle. Um, you know, the example I used was, you know, here's the traditionally reliable cluster of symptoms, weight gain, low energy, brain fog, swelling and ankles, et cetera, et cetera. Well, that sounds like thyroid to me. And you can diagnose, oh, it's thyroid. You can even run a thyroid test. You can pat yourself on the back and say, I found your problem. It's low thyroid output. You can even give them some things and get the test results in range and monitor the results and then titrate the uh, medication accordingly. Yep, we're keeping those results right where we want them with that medication. You've done absolutely nothing to help the person with their health or deal with the underlying causes or conditions or metabolic chaos or innate intelligence or weak links in metabolism. Now, some symptoms may abate, go away, uh, but the underlying cause is gonna continue to worsen, I would almost, Guarantee that if they just keep living their life, just popping your pills. So some symptoms are going to come back or new symptoms will appear. Let's say now it's not this cluster here. Now it's low libido. My muscle tone is fading. I don't have uh, the energy I used to have and things like that. Stuff like that. Well, oh, oh, that sounds like low testosterone. Let's test that. Oh, yep. Pat myself in the back some more. I found your other problem, it's low thyroid, it's low testosterone, you know, and here's your medication, and, and you see what I'm getting at, all that test after test after test is just a new cycle of trial and error. So when, when you consider lab training, um, it isn't the labs, folks, it's, it's understanding them and interpreting them in terms of um, underlying healing opportunities, whatever they are, in a variety of areas, I told you it's H-I-D-D-E-N. Those are the areas. And then getting the person to behave themselves. That's what's, that is the general principles that will outperform this system of specific treatment. Now, I belabored that maybe a little bit. But at the end, it's absolutely next level. Health coaching, just a couple more slides. I'm closing out. And then if anyone wants to hang out and see what those labs are, Brendan, I'll do it. And you can, if you can hang on, great. If not, it's okay, too. Um, but we are the next level health coaching, and we're the only health coach. You don't need to take another one first. But if you're a health coach, we're, we're kind of the top level. No nonsense coaching that gets results. It's all science based, teaches you to work from home. That'll save your client's office visit fees, and it'll save you a lot of rent and overhead. You can work with groups if you want to work a little cheaper. Um, and you can, I guarantee you, it's complete training. You don't need anything else. It's taught on a gradient, easy stuff first, walk you through it. I'm not going to overwhelm you. you. won't be drinking out of a fire hose on the uh, physiology and anatomy. All you have to do is duplicate it, learn it and duplicate it. These are the, who's in our community. It's all of our friends around the world who are one form of practitioner or another. And it's these things that bind us together. What I've gone over, knowing the body can heal itself, there's an innate intelligence. Knowing that natural therapies assist health building, you know, not drugs and surgery. Wanting to end the cycle of trial and error. Knowing how general principles do outperform specific treatments and why, you now know why. 
and understanding we may never find the root cause and don't need to. We just need to have an effect upon it. And a step-by-step approach, just a three-step approach, each one with its little compartments, that's easy for practitioners and clients to follow. It's Brendan, do you think it's overwhelming or is it kind of like because of the way it's presented, logic, logic, logic? Yeah, it, it really is pretty straightforward once you grasp the logic of it. You know, it makes what are very concept or complex concepts and topics and science a beautifully simple formula. Yeah. So um, this is my invitation to, to you to learn uh, the investigative skills and mindset, uh, the intake methods, the clinical correlation skills. It's critical. You can only do that through case studies. And we have plenty of them just did all new case studies it took me almost six months uh to put in all new cases uh up to date slides and everything like that ability to, that's why we say we have a new course ability to identify healing opportunities sound protocol recommendations the the dress program is as valid as you can get and a coaching style method that leads the clients towards health it's really no nonsense no bs we, we, I teach you how to use a BS meter so you can tell if your clients are doing what you tell them to do or not. And of course, you always have the labs and retesting available. And a business model that will earn you the money you deserve to make. And this is my offer to you. Um, the CERT course is still only $49.95. I've been told I'm giving it away. I know what the other health coaching courses are charging and they're like seven thousand dollars for most of them they don't teach you lab work they don't teach you the use of supplements they don't you know they're, they're not even close in terms of robustness and completeness and by the way they're not taught by a health coach they're taught by physicians who have a place in their office for you for the most part and i i love these people and believe me making the health coaching pie bigger is a good thing i'm friends with some of the other health coaching course teachers. And uh, I just have my own way. And I don't mind differentiating a little bit. We're, we're, we're the one that um, gets to the nitty gritty of what's really wrong with people and how to fix it. It's not theoretical. Now I'm gonna give you this special summer discount because they're making me. <laughs> Bring the tuition down to $44.95. We're putting in, let me tell you about the bonuses. You'll run two of the five labs that I teach. We actually teach a lot more than five, but the five core labs, you'll run two of them on yourself at my expense, my my mentoring, um, my team. Brendan is a mentor and he is much loved. And, and so are the others, like, like your mentor, Brendan. Uh, um, you know, Whitney and, and all the rest. Uh, they're, they're amazing people very dedicated to making sure you learn how to duplicate the system lots of other bonuses there if you consider that the price is going up remember i just came up with a new module we're, we're going to tweak it one more time before the end of the year and raise the price a thousand bucks and so I, I don't know the exact date but it's going to be 59.95 so that means you could save 2500 now if, if you know or 3500 bucks basically because again we are raising the price very soon and um everyone who signs up now will get any new content i put in it so anything new anything i change uh and raise the price you'll get that whatever it is so all you need to do now if you want this special coupon to work if you want to save the 500 bucks and get in Go to functionaldiagnosticnutrition.com, type that in, and then type in slash Q&A. That's the Q&A session that we're doing now, Q&A, Q&A. Enter the code FDN Rocks. You'll save really thousands of dollars. And um, you could register by phone if you're not comfortable using the Internet, although we are completely secure all the modern stuff. And that coupon's good for roughly a week. Now, that's the end of the thing, except for Brendan, if people wanted to hang out. Uh, we haven't really lost anybody. Everybody's still hanging in, so that's fantastic. Um, well, I'm going to ask you this final question. This is the last slide, actually. Yep. Um, 
And so, um, what are you going to do with your next client? I urge you to, and I'm personally inviting you to learn how to end the cycle of turnover for yourself and your clients. You need to look no further than the FDN certification course. Get the training and tools in your hands that allow you to help just about anybody, which is about any health condition. You can niche all you want for marketing purposes, but you're not going to be treating anything specifically. You're going to be treating everything non-specifically. That's going to keep your nose clean. And you can start helping more people to actually resolve their problems and start the income stream that you know you deserve. I'm telling you, if you're a personal trainer and you're charging the average prices, you can quintuple that. And even if you only quadrupled it, that's a lot of money in your pocket and separating you from all the other personal trainers or nutritionists or, or what have you. So um, let's go to some comments and questions. And you tell me if you want me to flip over to that other presentation. I've got the slides if they want to know what the – could I have a show of hands? Can, can you tell hands? I, I can't see the hands, but who, yeah, who would like to see the slides? Are you getting anybody, um, any takers on that? Yeah, got a few hands popping up. Like more than three? <laughs> yeah, right now about three. <laughs> All right, so look, folks, I, I'm I'm uh, I'm going to run through it really fast, but you guys should go and sign up. Um, um, and uh, let me just figure it out here. Uh, okay, so so what labs we use? Um, quick review here. You now know we have one diagnosis: metabolic chaos. You know what it takes to master metabolic chaos is the investigative skills and ability to review the labs and things like that, and the three steps. And here's how we work. We test the hormone, immune, digestion, detoxification, energy production, and nervous system with five simple labs. These, except for one, can be done in the convenience of your home and privacy of your home. And, and the way we do this is we have the client do this all themselves. So you, unless you're a licensed practitioner, will not be ordering these labs. Because you're an FDN, you'll use an exclusive FDN only direct to consumer program. So the, the, the consumer, the, the public actually is the one testing themselves, but you'll get a copy of the test results and you'll be able to interpret the results for that person. So you won't be ordering the labs. You'll just be using our medical director program. And it's not open to the public. Only, only FDNs get to use this program. It's very specialized and very cool. And you'll run a stress and hormone profile. This is a saliva test. It measures like 11 different hormones or hormone levels um, and provides a snapshot of that vital reserve. Remember? So how much gas is in the tank? You need to know that. What's going on in the various areas in hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis? Um, and you'll learn a lot. You'll, you'll learn all the anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry involved because you want to know more than most people about that. Um, you'll look at test results that look something like this, uh, where you've got, you know, nice graphs and charts, and it's easy to explain to the customer. I'm not going to go through that now. Um, here's somebody with, with a bit of a problem. Let me, let me just do this one thing. Here's somebody who's cortisol in the morning, which is the stress hormone is this is their baseline so it's kind of low in the range now it goes up higher than you'd want in other words so they're waking up kind of in a panic and it doesn't drop see you see you see this so we do this special thing now where you're doing a waking and then a 30 minute later and 30 more minutes later which would be 60 minutes after the waking. And you're getting this very interesting, we call it the cortisol awakening response. And you're also getting the diurnal rhythm, you know, the rhythm throughout the day. You can see, look how low it is here in the afternoon. That's a sign of something. I'm not gonna tell you what it means now, but that's a sign. And it correlates with the person. I guarantee you go back to the person, it totally explains why they are feeling the way they feel. The same thing with this in the morning, but I think this is a very interesting test where you are getting the waking and then it shoots up higher than you would 
want, they're kind of, you know, I won't say panicking, but uh, they're having a problem. <laughs> and then it doesn't go down. Look where it is, uh, you know, 30 minutes after that, it's not, it should actually go back down somewhere near waking, maybe slightly above waking, and it doesn't. Now, compare this with a test that would only do the morning here and draw a straight line over to noon. You see how much information you'd be missing? You'd be missing all that information, you know, depending on what time they took the first sample. If you only got one line going from morning to noon, you're missing this, and I think it's critical. So the same test measures all their sex hormones. Um, then we do this uh, urine test for, it assesses gut, toxicity, liver function, critical functions. You can't be healthy if those things aren't working right. They're huge uh, results of and contributors to metabolic chaos. Remember, everything is a result of metabolic chaos and a contributor to metabolic chaos. If it's, uh, you know, some weak link in metabolism or some outside influence or whatever it is. So you need to identify these. This is more healing identified, healing opportunities being identified. You know, areas that need improvement and that kind of a thing. It's a urine test. Results look like this, liver congestion, oxidative stress, poor protein breakdown, which is, you know, is super, super critical. Uh, I'll teach you thoroughly how to interpret and read that test. Then we do an intestinal permeability test. You, know, you guys kind of heard of leaky gut before. Um, there's a test result showing leaky gut. Um, here's a GI pathogen screen. This is a, you know, when I teach you a couple different ones, you know, I said five labs, but there's different. They're just categories. They're different labs you can actually use. And um, um, you'll assess bugs, dysbiosis, overgrowth, infestation, opportunistic organisms, biofilms, and things that are preventing healing and things that are contributing to metabolic chaos. And by the way, often are the results of metabolic chaos. If your immune system isn't working, you're going to get bugs. If you got bugs, you're going to have a bad immune system. So you get an idea of it's just it's just chaos. And then here's one of those sort of a screenshot of part of that lab report. Person's got yeast, they got H. pylori, they got other things going on, and a lot of cleaning up, a lot of metabolic chaos. And of course, we always run a food sensitivity test. So those are the five labs. That's all the time I wanted to spend on it. Bottom line is we're not diagnosing and treating anything specific from those because we're not doctors. We're simply identifying healing opportunities and then we're going to apply wellness principles to make the person better. You know, again, uh, where's the, there's the dress, uh, there's the healing occurs thing. There's the program. And then this is the slide I wanted to get to. So this is what this is not practicing medicine, folks. This is being a real health coach, coaching up vital reserve. Um, you identify the healing opportunities, coach up the functions that need to be coached up, the cells, tissues, origin, and coach down the contributors. And your people get better. We don't guarantee results. We guarantee one thing. That's that we're here for the right reason. And we are looking forward to having you join us. Let me um, go back, Brandon, to that um, last slide so people know where to go. And that's it. I don't have anything else for tonight. Awesome. And, uh, somebody had a question Anybody? on that phone number. There it is. Cool. 858-842. Three, two, six, six. Perfect. All right. Well, yeah. awesome. Reed, thank you so much for that presentation. I thought that was like the perfect uh, explanation of everything that we are with FDN. I thought that was awesome. Well, man, I thank you. Sorry. Um, cameras are probably still. <laughs> I hope I wasn't picking my nose. Or something. <laughs> but um, hey, look, you know, I'm here living in Southern California rocking it with FDN and um, we, we're around the world though we're in Australia we're in Canada we're in the United Kingdom we're in New Zealand we're in we're in Singapore we're in places I didn't know were countries you know um, it's amazing 
if you can get if you can get um, lab work shipped, you know, if we could send you the kits and you could get the person to put their saliva and pee in the kits and ship it back, you can do FDN. Mm -hmm. And that's the only, so there's a couple countries that we couldn't get the kits out of. We could get them in there, but like Lebanon wouldn't let people ship their pee to the United States, you know, like it's a precious commodity or something and or who knows but you know like there's some a few little glitches like that but everywhere in, in the um sort of modern world we, we can get this done uh what other questions do we have I, I i'm feeling good i'm feeling like uh people people are still hanging out so let's let's just spend another couple minutes and if you go, but if you got to go tell me um, I might get running, but I have been fielding some of these uh, just minor questions. Somebody was asking, like, what are the dates for the upcoming conference, or are we associated with the Institute for Functional Medicine? Um, and I've been fielding those off to the side here. No, the uh, there is the Institute for Functional Medicine is uh, you know Mark Hyman and some really smart people, and God bless them for what they're doing. They're actually out there trying to get doctors to do functional medicine. And uh, by popular demand, I think two years ago, or very recently, they started a health coaching course. But it's taught by the doctors. And what they're doing is, in, and uh, by the way, it's a lot more expensive. Than they, they don't even teach supplements. Uh, from what I've, I've talked to one of my graduates who took that course and my course. And they said uh, that course was mostly sort of how to teach the stuff the doctor doesn't have time for in the office. So they're not going to teach you any labs. They're not going to teach you what's wrong. They're not going to teach you how to fix it. They're going to teach you how to work with the client or the patient to get them to go home and, you know, eat right and get a good night's sleep and, and good lifestyle stuff. It's, it, I'm sure you'll learn things. I'm sure it's amazing, but it's, again, it's not taught by a health coach who's rocked it for 20 years. And, um, really live the the nitty gritty of figuring out what's wrong and how to fix it so i i would just say that in answer to that ifm is amazing wonderful love mark hyman and the work he's doing and the coaching course that that they endorse uh is a good one uh it's but it's not going to teach you what we teach you awesome Cool. Any other questions, guys? Right. Now would be the time. Yep. All right. If the, if, the, uh, if you've answered them all, we're good. We're good. Uh, we'll follow up with you guys. We'll send you a replay so you can watch mm -hmm. it again. We did go. Uh, yeah, we went 90 minutes, man. Uh, that's a good one, you know. And no one left. You know, we got yep. got still got the room full. So I think it's amazing. Thank you for being here. Say that to everybody. Thank you. I appreciate you, and um, I'm actively, I'm not unabashedly and unashamedly recruiting new folks to go out and be part of our community and do some good in the world and and spread the love. So I uh, hope you guys will join us. Uh, you got a week to use that coupon, so jump in there. Awesome. Okay? Yeah. Yep. All right, Brendan. And see you later, man. See ya. You guys have what? a good one. Oh, I just, I put the uh, promo code into the box over there so everybody has it and we'll be good to go. Okay.